Welcome back, my loves. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Andrea and welcome to Life As I Know It. Today, I have a fun and quick easy fall lantern for you to make. And I also have two subscriber boxes from Dave Christopher website. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Now I got this little frame from Family Dollar for a dollar and this foam I'm reusing. And I'm just gonna put some hot glue and then attach it to the frame. And as you can see, there's a big old hole in it, but if we can reuse our items, we shall. Now these two hoops came from the dollar store. They have them in Crafter Square. And all I did was paint them. And now what we're gonna do is take one hoop right through the other, and then we're gonna attach it to the foam. Now the little tuxedo pins, that's what some people call them. The dollar store is selling them. So if you see them, definitely grab them because they cost more in Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So we're gonna put a little glue down, and then we're gonna take the tuxedo pins, and we're gonna take them and attach them through over the hoops, push down, and then with the hot glue, that will keep it in place. I would suggest putting one pin on one side and then go to the other side. That way you have two pins with the hot glue holding the hoops down. And once we have our hoops secure, we're going to go get some flowers so we can decorate and cover up our foam. Now these were flowers that we got from the dollar store and what I'm going to do is cut them down so we can spread them out. And now that we have our flowers cut down and separated, we're gonna start placing them into the foam using the bigger flowers first and then we're gonna use the smaller ones as fill-ins you can use any flowers from the dollar store michaels or hobby lobby get a bushel and just cut them down we just need to make sure that we cover the sides and the top part of our phone and we're just going to put them in and if you're going to sell this or give away i would definitely use hot glue i'm just placing them in because i'm just going to keep this but like i said if you're going to give this away or sell it i would definitely use hot glue on the tip of each flower before you place it inside of the foam. I'm gonna use this LED candle from the dollar store. So what I'm doing is placing it on the top to make sure that I'm not covering up where it needs to go once we're done. So you can also do this, go ahead and place your candle on top, get a fill for where it's at. You can leave it on here or take it off, but you definitely wanna make sure that you can lay your candle on top if you're going to use a candle. I grabbed another stem of flowers with leaves on there and I'm just gonna cut that down and add that also. We're just gonna keep adding flowers until the foam is completely covered. So as we get close to October being over, have you decided what your holiday colors are going to be? Are you going to decorate each room a different color? Or are you just going to take one color pattern and decorate the whole house and the outside with that one color? Are you going to add more items to your decorations this year? Or are you just going to use everything that you had last year? I think this year what I'm going to do is just grab a couple more decorations and use the exact same color and everything that I used last year. I'm going to go with white and silver for the living room and I'm just going to add some more new pieces instead of doing a whole new color scheme. So just add a couple more items and just keep my white and silver for this year. So definitely leave me a comment and let us know, are you going to change your designs from last year or are you going to use your same decorations and then just add some new items?
Now, our next DIY comes from Dave Christopher Products. Dave Christopher is an artist design gift and decor store out of Sheffield, Alabama. So on their website, they had a sale on YouTube where they took a box that was $120 and they gave you 50% off. And then they had a box that was 100 and they gave you 50% off. And the deal was you would buy four boxes. You would get one from September to December. And each box would have items in there to decorate your house. So as you can see, you get the candle holder, which is made out of glass. And then you get an LED candle and you get two picks and the lantern for $50. And now we're going to work our picks inside of our lantern. So my thing is trying to get the two picks to cover that metal piece so you don't see it. When you put the lantern in and you place it up, you don't want to see the black metal circle that holds the candle. And then we're going to fluff out our second pick and put that around to the opposite side. I would clearly say I feel as though they really should have gave you just another pick or two plain picks that you could have put in there to make it look a little fuller. And I think we're going to have to find something to place in there because as we place it around, we can still see the base of the candle holder. So I'll be honest, I did play with this for a while and I could not get it to sit the way that I wanted because I wanted the base of the candle holder to be covered. Now me putting it on a mantelpiece, I would have been able to get away with it because you wouldn't have seen the back part of it. But if you wanted to give this away as a gift or if you wanted to put this on a center table, you would I wouldn't have not been able to do that. So I just got some extra picks and just laid it in between where I saw that you could see the stem of the flowers. So it is worth the money that I paid for because I believe the lantern is definitely worth the $50. You can find these items on Dave Christopher on YouTube. It'll take you right to their store. And the items do come quickly in the mail. So if you like the items, I would definitely go ahead and look on their website. And we are done with this DIY. Here we have another Dave and Christopher subscribe box. And inside this box, we got these four items. Now, the dish towel did not have a price, but the pumpkins were $9.99 each. The tray was $59.99, but is now on sale for $39.99. We're going to add some of our Dollar Tree pumpkins. And the small burgundy pumpkins came from Hobby Lobby, and they were $2.99 with 40% off. Now, this pick right here came from Hobby Lobby. I got that last year. It was like $14.99 with like 60 or 80% off back then. So, all we're going to do is go ahead and cut that pick down. And then we're just going to place it throughout the tray. We're not going to glue anything down because you know what? You can continue to use this every month. You can switch this out if you just leave it the way it is without gluing anything down. Now, this corn husk I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, that was $5.99 with 90% off. So, we're going to place a couple of the corn husks throughout the tray as we continue to put our picks throughout our tray.
Now these pine combs came 12 in a pack for a dollar and I got these from Dollar General maybe last year. So we're just gonna take a couple of them and we're gonna place it throughout our tray. And once we are satisfied with our arrangement, we are done with our DIY. Well, my loves, that is the end of our fun and easy DIY and our hacks using David Christopher products. If you are new, welcome aboard. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, you are truly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. And as always, thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. Have a blessed day and remember... It costs nothing to be kind, and we will see you in our next video. Bye for now.